Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, in this lecture, we are going to talk about the source tank. In this session, we will be talking about the what is the source tank, where is it located, and the basic design criteria of the source tank. In the fourth step, we will talk about the design consideration of the source tank, and at the last, in the final stage, we will solve a numerical related to source tank. So let's start. What is source tank? A source tank is a hydraulic system component that helps manage water hammer or pressure source by providing a buffer to absorb and dampen sudden changes in water flow. It prevents damage to pipes and bulbs and helps stabilize pressure in the system. Now let's go. Where is it located? A source tank is typically located strategically within a hydraulic system, often near pump station or at key points along a pipeline where pressure fluctuations are likely to occur. Its location depends on the specific design and requirements of the system it is initiated to protect. Now in the third, let's know the design criteria of the source tank. For the design criteria of the source tank, following characteristics and the key points matters. That is the system characteristics, size of the tank and volume of the tank, location of the source tank and material used for the construction, whether it's concrete or pipe materials and regulation and control for the maintenance and other purpose. In the next, let's talk about the design consideration of the source tank. The key points for the design consideration of the source tank are stability condition, upsource condition, downsource condition and dumping condition. These are the major key points that are need to be checked for the design consideration. In the further numerical, we will check out this point too. And now let's move on to the numerical problem related to source tank. The numerical question is in a hydropower project, the design discharge through the tunnel is 55 meter cube per second is conveyed by three numbers of penny stock to the turbine of 1.7 meter and sorry 1.7 meter die each having the tunnel length of 6.5 kilometer with diameter 9.0 meter. Consider the friction factor of tunnel and penny stock as 0.016 and 0.04 respectively. Velocity of wave in penny stack equals 1750 meter per second. If sample sorry, if simple cylindrical source tank of 26 meter diameter has been provided at the end of tunnel, find maximum upsurge in the tank, maximum water hammer pressure, maximum downsurge in the tank, time of oscillation of wave. These are the condition to be determined. So in this question, first we will find out the maximum water hammer pressure then the max maximum upsource condition and then after the maximum downsource condition and finally the time of oscillation so let's start solving this with yeah, the given data are discharge is given as 55 meter cube per second length of tunnel equals 6.5 meter die of tunnel equals 9.0 meter tunnel factor friction friction factor at tunnel equals 0.016 friction factor at penstock equals 0.04 wave velocity in penstock equals 1750 meter per second and diameter of source tank equals 26 meter we need to find the z max of source equals what z max down source equals what time of oscillation equals 
equals T equals need to find butter hammer pressure. S not equals need to find on neglecting the friction maximum water hammer pressure can be given as given as S not equals C P P by G C P P is divided by G P P equals velocity of flow in in pen stop in our case as the pen stock are given of three numbers are of three numbers but we'll take three numbers including the total discharge that is 55 meter cube per second for the calculation of as not the question as not equal c bp is divided by g where c equals wave velocity in penistock and bp equals velocity of flow in penistock where bp can be calculated as q is divided by area of penistock equals the velocity q is given as 55 that is discharge the, and the area of the pin stock is pi d square by 4 1.7 is the diameter of pin stock on solving this its result is 24.24 now placing this value on this that is s not equals c value means 1750 times of 24.25 is divided by 9.81 on solving this the result will be 4324.15 meter which is the maximum water hammer pressure in the tank now in the second step we'll find out the maximum of source in second step in the tank this can be given as z max equals max of source equals z max times of 1 minus 2 is divided by 3 times of p naught plus 1 by 9 times of p naught well, sorry square where z max can be given as calculated as equals b naught root over length a area sorry area of tank is divided by G area of S T here P naught can be calculated as Q is divided by area of tank equals 55 is divided by pi 9 square by 4 on solving this it will be 0 0.864 meter per second now placing the value of P naught on this that is Z max equals 0 0.8 equals 0 0.6864 root over the length is 6500 area of tank is 5 by 4 times of area of tunnel not the tank 9 whole square is divided by 9.81 and area of source tank is pi by 4 times of 26 whole square on solving this uh, z max equals 7.69 meter now p naught equals calculating this p naught equals h f is divided by z max where h f equals frictional head loss that when f t l v naught is divided by 2 g dt equals the value of ft is given as 0 0.016 times of length is 6500 times of 0 0.864 that is b0 is calculated as 0 0.864 is divided twice of g means 8 9.81 times of diameter of tunnel on solving this it's this result will be 0 0.9395 
meter. Now placing this value on this equation that is P0 equals 0 0.395 is divided by Z max is calculated as 7.69. On solving this, the result will be 0 0.051. Now substituting the value of P0 and Z max on this equation that is Z upsurge equation. Substituting the value on this equation that is the value of Z max is 7.69 times of 1 minus 2 by 3 times of 0 0.051 plus 1 by 9 times of 0 0.051 whole square. On solving this the value will be 7.43 that is Z of source max and in the third we'll calculate Z down source max max down source using the formula Z max down equals Z max times of minus 1 plus twice of P naught now just placing the value on this that Z max means 7.69 times of minus 1 twice of P naught value is 0 0.051 solving this the value will be minus 6.9 meter this one is also meter as the maximum downsurge level is in negative so it means that the water level in the source tank will be below reservoir levels that the uh, water level in in the fourth step we'll calculate the time of oscillation using the formula t equals 2 pi root over l a s t is divided by g a t that is a s t means area of source tank a t means area of tunnel equals root over the length of tunnel is 65 double zero times of area of tunnel is equal to pi by 4 times of 26 9.81 times up this one is source tank and this one is tunnel i by 4 times of 9 whole so on solving this we will receive the value of 466.99 second which is which is the time of oscillation so for this time we end up the video after this much we'll come again with one new video till then keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us thank you